Um, I'm Johnny Ball, and uh, I'm doing a turn here at the Electric Theatre in Guildford tonight um, for, for the festival. And uh, it's lovely. I, I think I'm rather tail end of the festival. They tagged me on the end. But, but it's lovely to be here. Three years ago, Zoe started this Saturday morning radio show on BBC Two. And they, they need novelties, you know, a quiz here or something like there. And somebody said, what about your dad? Could he do a puzzle? Puzzles are very like jokes. Um, there's no such thing as a new one. There are twists on them. And if you haven't met a joke or a puzzle before, it's, uh, it's funny if it's a joke or it's, ooh, interesting as a puzzle. Once you've seen it, once you know it, you go, oh, that old thing. But it's amazing how much they teach you puzzles. They teach you a new angle. And once you understand that mathematical angle on a, a particular subject, it stays with you. So puzzles, I think, are actually more educational in a more diverse way than, than the drudgery of the math curriculum. Can I tell you, one of the greatest puzzlers was a man, uh, a German, who wasn't allowed to teach. He was useless, they said, at everything. So he finished up in a patent office in Bern with a pad of paper and a pencil, and he worked out ideas that nobody had ever thought of, and his name was Albert Einstein. And what saved him, because his education was a disaster, was his engineer far, uh, uncle, who showed him puzzles. And quite a few of those puzzles are in this book. Here's an easy one, try this. You have two coins in your pocket. They add up to 15p, but one is not a 10p. What are they? Do you want the answer? I would love the answer. One is a 5p, the other is a 10p. You see, it's simple and it's a catch question. But people remember these things and trot them out at Christmas parties and annoy people.